Carrie Key in Millsap, Texas. And which horse did you ride to your win today? Can't Spook Me. And how long have you had that horse? Uh, we actually, um, my mom bred and raised him. Um, we sold him as a two-year-old and um, we just got him back a couple of years ago. He had a very successful futurity and derby years and um, Michelle and Kurt George allowed us to get him back and um, he kind of, he's had some soundness issues and so he kind of hung out and rested for a couple of years and this year he's been awesome and we've been having a ton of fun. So he is, he is definitely with us for, for the rest of his life, he, he lives with us. So what's the plan going forward for him? We are um, qualified thanks to a quick trip up to Nebraska a couple of days ago um, for the non-pro and the intermediate non-pro at the Futurity. Um, we're also in the top 10 um, standings in a couple of different divisions, so we're trying to keep that. Um, it's just really a big deal for us because he's you know, a very special horse and he's had some, some struggles with, with soundness and, and so for him to go a whole year and do that is just, my, my mom and I are really excited. He's also hopefully got a big run coming up at the end of the week if my mom feels like showing him in the Masters. So I'm, I'm crossing my fingers and hoping that the stars align and that works because he's great for her. Oh, what a story. Has she shown him often? She, she has shown him a few times and done well, and he does great for her. Um, she rides him a lot better than I do a lot of times, so um, I'm hoping that that will happen because he's, he's the perfect horse. He'll go out and he'll, he'll give you his heart and try really hard and go big, mark a big score and then come in with her and never takes advantage. I mean, for as much as he's been shown, he's pure. He just, he just does his job and he loves it. Can you tell me more about his struggles and how his recovery has been and then coming back to where he is now? Yeah, he's had he's been um, had a lot of quarter cracks. He's very chronic with quarter cracks and some cough, cough and joint issues. We have him um, really well shod. We found where he likes it really naturally for him. Um, he's a big horse with little feet, so we, we struggle with that. Um, but we have him on a very good joint supplement, Eki joint, that's helped. And we have um, Sam and Justa Turner work on him um, physically. So he's, he's got a team behind him, my horseshoer, my vets, my, my, my I call them my fit, horse physical therapists, and my trainers are awesome. They, everybody babies him, everybody takes care of him. He's kind of the special one. And since your mom raised him, is there any special uh, relationship between the two of them? Oh, of course, of course. Yeah, no, he's very special. I am, I'm the one that made her sell him when he was two. We had several, and people wanted to buy him and because he's very pretty, and just so happened he was that unicorn horse that you never know how they're going to turn out. He was the first one out of our mare, T, T on the Trashy side, um, that we have bred it very consistently and all of her babies are money earners or either in the in the raining or now the cow horse um, so he's he's just he's he's that one you know he's that one so we're and for me he's just been spectacular it's been really nice to have such a big level solid even when we have a bad run we get a check I mean unless I don't do my pattern correctly which is what happened in Tulsa so, we talk about that. no, we won't talk about why we had to go to Nebraska on a 48 hour trip. Yeah, but he did great and he won money there too. So, he's, he's very special. And we've got several um, youngsters out of him still to show. So, um, it's always fun. Always fun. Or not out of him, but out of his mother. Okay. Yeah, he's a gilding. So, okay. yeah. I, I was questioning <laughs> that. Um, who do you want to thank for helping you get here today? Uh, my mom, number one, for breeding. The, the awesome spook. Michelle and Kirk George for, for allowing us to have him back. Melanie Wilhelm for training him. Um, Janina and, and Jonathan Gautier are awesome. Janina did this horrible trip to Nebraska with me. It wasn't a horrible trip. We made it, we made it nice and fun. But she did that trip with me, took care of him. Um, Jonathan coaches me. We, we work to keep him sharp. Um, Miriam is, is our help here. She's doing great and working really hard keeping him happy. It's, it, it takes a team. Like I said, Sam and Justa Turner, I could go on um, and on. Our horse, sure, Jason, he's awesome. Gabby uh, Martin, our vet. I mean, I know I'm leaving somebody out, but that's, that's a big group for one horse. <laughs>
Amanda, it's a pleasure to be here tonight representing Markel. I am Frank Costantini, the Director of Western Disciplines. Uh, along with the team of specialists, we offer the uh, various products that Markel offers to the equine industry, primarily of the Western Disciplines. Markel, as you might know, is a specialty lines insurance company with the primary home office in Richmond, Virginia. We provide coverage for uh, almost all the equine entities that uh, participate in uh, what the ongoings of the horse world today, you know. We've had the good fortune of being able to offer farm and ranch coverage, care testing control, uh, commercial auto, commercial horse trainers liability, professional horse trainers liability, and by and large mortality coverage for our equine investments. Uh, we've been affiliated with the NRHA for 20 plus years now, and hopefully we'll be in, in, in business and affiliated with the NRHA and the Western horse world for another 20 years. Along with that, it's, it's an honor and a privilege to be interviewed by Worldwide Slide, Virtual Horse Help. I think it's a wonderful, wonderful uh, meeting of the minds and the coming together. And uh, speaking for Markel, we are looking forward to working with you, with Cheryl, with uh, Tommy, and all the entities involved.